no idea. Okay. We well, should. If you know, we should suggest that. And Sandra, what about yourself? What was your? When did you decide you definitely wanted to do this? Oh gosh, quite some time ago actually, but I was never able to get a place. So when um, Genesis had time at contemplations, I decided to go off the line and do that. And so, um, did you start training on Boxing Day as well? Or you no, the, I started the, training at the end of October. Okay, so you've, you've had a good run in Well, you yeah, but I kind of started very gradually. I did a couple of times a week and just built it off really gradually, to be honest. And you were a runner before? No. no. First time? First yeah. Time. And what's, what's your target on the day? I've been so far down this, so I'm going to be disappointed. Oh, Less than that, I'll be very pleased. What's been the What's been the worst? What's been your, your lowest low so far? Just going out at five o'clock in the morning because I've got family, husband, study, full time job, and just fitting it in has been a real mission. So going out at five o'clock in the morning when it's cold and wet and icy is a bit of challenge. But through that, so. so you've done the you've done the hard hardest graft of the training. Yeah. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to it now, actually. Are you confident? Um, quietly, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I'm not going to be straight from the rooftops, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel fine, actually. I'm staring at the screen. I'm staring at the I've been super sensible, so yeah, well, yeah. we'll see. We've still got a month to go, so. Yeah, I'm sure you'll do brilliant. Thank you. What about you, Gav? Inside housing is uh, elite. Um. <laughs> Why did I do it? Or why, how did you, why did you do it, first of all? It was my first day in a job, um, and email went round, and I assumed it was part of my probation. <laughs> <laughs> and no one told me otherwise, so, so I, I did it. I still found out, but that's right with that. That's right with that. You had past probation. So, so, uh, so there you go, so I can pull out now. Uh, I had wanted to do it for a while, kind of, but never really, really wanted to do it. <laughs> um, that's why I was saying it seems like a good idea when you sign up. And then when the reality hits you, you realise it's when, when, when did the reality hit you? Um, I think it was this morning. <laughs> uh, it was around, I started doing 10 mile runs around Christmas and stuff. Uh, and it, uh, it's quite early, isn't it? <laughs> yes, probably. Um, but uh, then I didn't do any more for a while. I had a massive break in the middle of my training to that way. And I've just been, I've been a bit all over the place with, how I've, as you know, how I've um, managed my training routine. Um, but it's been great. You enjoyed it? Some of it, yeah. The lowest low? Um, that's probably still to come, I just thought. <laughs> uh, after my, around Christmas, after I was so ecstatic about doing my first 10 mile run, um, then later that night I realised that I couldn't walk. And then could walk again for about a week afterwards. Uh, How's Jenny been? Yeah, there if you need her. <laughs> Absolutely. No, very encouraging. Yeah, yeah. It's nice having someone who's uh, actually going to sort of chase you and get you to yeah. get you to do what you've got to do to get around. Well, yeah, because actually you don't think them. like that. You don't think about the <laughs> admin side of it, actually. No, yeah. So it's good to have somebody to facilitate that, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, very organised. Um, nice to. Eighteen thirteen. Eighteen thirteen. Yeah. Uh, so that's nice. Yeah. Seems very well organised. <laughs> well, we all work in the housing sector. Yeah, that's right. We all know right. how important it is and how it doesn't get the attention that sometimes yeah, other, well, other charities, but other public sector sectors yeah. get. It's, and yeah. It's something we do day in day out. Housing is, is our thing. Yeah. If you like. So it, when when the office came up, it kind of made sense made sense when so many people run for cancer research or whatever. Yeah, let's do something for what we all believe and do. So, yeah. It means that when you collect a sponsorship as well, when you're asking people, they they you're asking people who you work yeah. around with and everyone understands what the issues that they that have to campaign for and what the work you do. And yeah, I think it's quite important to 
ask me to respond to shit. I think for me, Hacks has reinstated my passion for Hacks actually, because you do, I've been in it for quite some time though, and you do get a little bit frazzled. So quite honestly, I think it's reinstated my passion of my love for housing. So it's like, you. because you see. Yeah, because you forget the actual. The fundamentals, really. If you just go along with it as a business, you forget the essentials, and that's just reminded me actually.